Okay, this is Joel with Gate Crafters. Today we're going to check the limit switches to make sure to, to troubleshoot a limit switch problem. And we're going to use a jumper wire to jump all three terminals together of the limit switch and see if the gate opener starts moving in the direction that it's not moving. Typically somebody calls in and says my arm only moves in one direction and a lot of times it's the limit switch. So what you do, you take a jumper wire and this has three wires. We're going to put them all three in there and then tie it together so it jumps all these together. We're going to basically trick the control board into thinking that the limit switches are not tripped. And keeping in mind when you do this, you'll have to stop the gate opener in both directions by hitting button one on the gate on the control board. So I'll go ahead and put these jumper wires in here. You don't necessarily have to take these wires out to do this test, but it doesn't really matter if you leave them in or, or out right now. It's easier if I leave them out. Once I twist all these together, it'll trick the control board into thinking that the limit switches are working, even if they're not. All those wires are connected. It's kind of a, the way, the reason why I did this the, with this wire, because this is extra wire from your plug-in receiver. So it's common for you to have extra wire hanging loose. So we're going to go ahead and try to, try to run the gate opener. Now we're simply going to test the gate opener by hitting the button one button and seeing if it moves in, okay, it starts to move. I can stop it hitting this, the button one button. And if I hit it, the button again, it'll go in the other direction. But again, you'll have to stop it using the button because it's not going to recognize the limits. So this is a good way or an easy way to test if the limit switch wires or a limit switch is a problem if the arm is only moving in one direction. So we jump them out, we hit the button one, it moves open or to the retracted position. I hit the button again, it, it stops. I hit the button again, it goes to the closed position or the extended position for a pull to open scenario. So it looks like whatever I did which is jumping these limit switches out, fix the problem, meaning that one of these limit switch wires is either damaged or the limit switch itself is, is, is uh, defective. So this is a good way to test your limit switches to see if it's causing the problem. You jump them together and then run the gate opener open and close, but keeping in mind you have to hit the button to stop it because the limit switches will not stop it. As you can see it's going both directions and it's working normally.